Hey guys, this video shows you how to sort out the problem with the Battlefield 3 open beta on PC when you click quick match, but all that happens is matchmaking. And it says matchmaking, and it spins around in a nice circle, but it's not going anywhere, nothing's happening, it never finds a game, um, and you know, you're pretty much screwed. I mean, you can, you can go to the server browser and join a game over a server, but for some reason the quick match isn't working. And uh, I found out that this is a problem, let me just close this down and exit, I found out this is a problem with my Avast antivirus. Now this might be a problem with other antiviruses as well but obviously I can't vouch for that and I can't tell you how to fix that because I'm running with Avast. Um, and it's this thing under real-time shields called the web shield and the web shield seems to be blocking it for some reason. Um, if I go into expert settings there's the option to exclude, like don't have websites that obviously aren't blocked or block anything to do with them but I've tried a, a number of different URLs obviously this one being the main one and I can't get it to work if you know the URL you need to input here to get quick match to work then post it in the comments below and I'll shove it up in an annotation um, because that would obviously be a better way to do it having excluding that website from the web shield but as it stands what you have to do is stop you have to stop the web shield um, it gives you a number of options. Obviously, if you're just joining uh, a quick match, just do stop for 10 minutes. Uh, click yes, and then what you do, it should now be working. So open up your Battlefield 3 again. Hopefully it won't throw the generic game error that it sometimes glitches around with. And if you go to quick match, it will give you a generic game error. <laughs> Okay, this is obviously a good thing to show you. Generic game error often means, basically what you want to do is close down your battle log, uh, close down your browser, exit uh, origin, it's glitchy, it's glitchy as fuck, I think obviously because it's in beta, and then what you have to do is basically, you have to close everything down and start it all up again, because sometimes it's like previous versions of battle log are trying to interact with games that no longer exist, and it's saying, okay, this game doesn't exist anymore. So basically you want to close down everything and start everything new if you get that error. That, I guess that's a, a free bonus, um, but obviously there's no proper fix to it other than restarting everything. Hopefully it'll work now. Hopefully, God knows, sometimes it just doesn't. Sometimes it just wants to be a bitch. Hopefully it works now. There you go. Joined straight away. That's how long it should take to get into a server. It should be no more than 10 seconds. And uh, it's because the web shield, the web shield was blocking it. And I'd love to be able to find out how you exclude just this website, but it doesn't work. Um, another thing, ironically, that this fixes is you can't get invites from your friends. If you get an invite to a party, it's a little pop-up box that says, do you want to join this party? And for some reason, the web shield blocks that as well. So once you do this fix, once you turn off the web shield, you'll be able to get invites to parties. And also you'll be able to join servers as parties, which is another, because this when you're in a party and either you say join server as party or someone else in your party says join server as party you get a little pop up here saying do you want to join the party that you're do you want to join the server that your party's joining um, and that's another thing that's blocked with this web shield from the vast um, so that fixes three things I guess it fixes all the party options and it fixes the quick match options uh, so if this is a problem you've been having, if this is a problem your friends have been having, and this is a problem that like forums have been discussing that you read, try and get this video out there, try and get it common knowledge that this is the fix if you have a vast antivirus. Um, if you have another type of antivirus and you, and you know how to turn off the web shield or whatever the, it would be called in that and your version of the Ahura antivirus, um, post a comment below and I'll comment on it so they get to the top. And uh, if this hasn't worked for you, but you know another way, you know another solution, post a comment as well, and we'll try and build up like a, a knowledge base of answers. Um, so we all know how to fix it while it's in beta. Hopefully it won't throw any of these similar problems uh, once it gets to full release. But if it does, well, at least we know how to fix it, a quick fix for it anyway. Um, so I hope that has helped you guys. And if not, post a comment below and, you know, we'll have a big old discussion in the comments section. Uh, so check out the comment section. See you guys.